Tonight at 5, Anaya's Law Loophole. The law was passed by Alabama voters in November to prevent violent offenders from receiving bond. Today, what we thought might have been the first day a defendant would be held without bond because of Anaya's Law in Mobile County ended up taking a turn. Javor Scarborough appeared virtually in court this morning for a bond hearing for the alleged murder of David Kyles back in 2014. NBC 15's Lisa Lebreniak joins us now. Lisa, when Anaya's law came up in court, Scarborough's attorney said not so fast. Yeah, because the alleged offense happened eight years ago before Anaya's law even existed. For eight years, the family of David Kyles have been looking for answers, coming to court this morning, hoping this man, Javoris Scarborough, will be held behind bars with no bond. Scarborough is accused of posing as a Mobile police officer in 2014, where he then allegedly pulled Kyles over, handcuffed him, tased him, shot him multiple times, and stole his car. He's entitled to a bond. He has a constitutional right to a bond. In fact, this case was investigated eight years ago and they, they didn't come up with anything. He's certainly entitled to a bond. Assistant District Attorney Lauren Walsh pushing for no bond due to Scarborough's extensive criminal history and for allegedly committing other offenses while he was out on bond for a felony. He's also on pretrial release in a federal drug conspiracy case. So when Anaya's law came up, Scarborough's attorney Tom Walsh said that's not going to work here. Essentially, if you're out on bond and you pick up a new charge, you can have your bond revoked on the on the case you're out on bond for, and but you're still entitled to a bond on the new case. Ania's law uh, changed that somewhat, but that was not in effect in 2014. But earlier this week in Prattville, Alabama, a judge denied a man bail under the recently passed Anaya's law. Michael Butler was charged with robbing, kidnapping, and raping two teens on November 3rd. Before the law was passed, Butler was arrested on November 8th, the same day voters overwhelmingly approved Anaya's law. However, as we saw in Scarborough's case, that didn't happen. He was granted a $400,000 bond on the murder charge and six 60,000 on the kidnapping charge. 5,000 of that must be in cash. So are you expecting uh, your client to be out before Christmas? Yes. Now we asked the district attorney's office for clarification on Anaya's law and an overall statement in response to the, to the outcome of this bond hearing this morning. They told us no comment. Andrea.